everyone, my name is Miss Marilyn and welcome to Preschool Storytime. Today our theme for Storytime is trains. I love trains and I especially love the train that's above our desk in the children's department. Now before we get started, we're going to sing our welcome song, Shake Your Sillies Out. Ready? We're going to shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake. Shake, shake our sillies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap, clap our crazies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna yawn, yawn, yawn our yawnies out. Yawn, yawn, yawn our yawnies out. Yawn, yawn, yawn our yawnies out and wiggle our waggles away. Good job, guys. All right, let's get started with our first story. And our first story is called Trains by Mari Shu. On the go. Choo-choo, the horn blows. The train is here. All aboard, people get on the train cars. The train leaves the station. See the front? This is the locomotive. It pulls the train. The engine is inside. It makes power. The cab is inside too and the engineer sits in the cab. He drives the train. See the wheels? They are made of steel and they run on the tracks. A freight train carries goods. It can carry things like coal. A commuter train carries workers. It brings workers into the city. And a subway train runs under the ground. It moves under busy city streets and many people ride in it. I've ridden in a subway before, have you? It's pretty cool. A bullet train is fast and quiet. It zooms by. Are you ready for a train ride? The end. We learned a couple things about trains from that book, huh? All right. So, we're going to do a little rhyme about trains, and it's called Choo Choo Train. So, to get started, let's see, can you guys get your arms at your sides and get them moving like train wheels? And can you make a train sound? Good job. Ready? Choo Choo Train, Choo Choo Train, running down the track. Now it's going forward. Now it's going back. Now the bell is ringing. Ding, ding. Now the whistle blows. Hoo, hoo. The train goes very fast everywhere it goes. Good job, guys. All right. It's time for our second story, and this story is called Trucker and Train by Hannah Stark. Trucker loved to rule the road. He loved the sound of his engine. He loved the size of his tires, and most of all, Trucker loved his mighty horn. Honk! Trucker blasted as he rushed through the city. The moped swayed and gasped. <gasps> the cars rattled and gulped. And the pickup truck sputtered, but followed in awe. Truck was bigger and stronger and tougher than anyone on the road. One day, Trucker went hauling far from the city. Up, 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 he trucked over the mountains and through the clouds. Trucker beamed at the sight of the valley below. He'd never seen such an open land and endless roads. Whoosh! He cruised down the mountain, letting the breeze cool his hot engine. Woo -hoo! On the horizon, Trucker spotted a long freight train zipping along the track. 
Who is that? Trucker revved. He shifted into high gear and raced up alongside. Train! Honk, honk! Trucker blasted past the mopeds. Honk, honk! He blared at the cars. Trucker gawked at the two, four, six, eight, ten! Ten cars pulled by Train's big black engine! Woo woo! While the mopeds were smitten and the cars were captivated, the pickup trucks fell starstruck. Honk! But Truck's tough horn was nothing next to Train's engine and whistle. Trucker fumed. <sighs> his hubcaps blurred. He revved his engine with all his night and proudly pulled ahead of Train. Ding, 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 ding. Up ahead, two gates closed across the road and everyone slowed to a stop. Why, Trucker revved, are we the ones ha stopping? Honk! The moped shook, the car shuddered, and the pickup trucks glared, but no one moved for Trucker. Honk, 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 woo, woo! Train cruised across the junction. The mopeds gleamed and the trucks were wowed. The pickup trucks swooned. Everyone was fascinated. Everyone except Trucker. Why, Trucker wondered, did ever, why didn't they ever gleam at me? Driving on, Trucker saw Train's track head into a station. He was happy to see the road bend up into the mountains. Up, 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 Trucker hauled as the mopeds zipped past and the cars whizzed by and the pickup trucks hurried on without even a glance. Honk, honk! Trucker tried to greet them. <laughs> Trucker tried to play. But no one seemed to notice and no one seemed to care. And Trucker suddenly felt smaller than he ever had before. At the top of the mountain, Trucker pulled aside to rest. He watched the mopeds zip around the bends and he gazed at the cars coasting along. Trucker looked up into the valley below and saw Train's track reappear out of the tunnel. Oh no, Trucker whispered. There, down below, at the train's tracks, there was another junction and a broken off gate. <gasps> what if no one notices, Trucker trembled. What if no one stops? Trucker hurled, hurtled down the mountain. The moped swerved and the cars pulled aside. The pickup trucks braked very, very hard. Trucker's freight thrust down the mountain with more speed than ever. Whoosh! Urgh, trucker stopped and he turned and reversed and turned and reversed. He had to block the road. Beep, beep, squeaked the mopeds. Toot, toot, piped the cars. Honk, honk, blared the pickup trucks. And one by one, they came to a stop and stared Trucker down. Trucker didn't like the beeps or toots or honks. He wished the horns would stop. He wished this time that the train would chug faster. Woo! Everyone rattled and Trucker counted to himself. Two, four, six, eight, ten, ten cars. Train hurried off around the next bend and out of everyone's sight and the valley fell silent until ooh, ooh. off in the distance Train let off a thankful whistle and one by one the mopeds began to beep and the cars began to cheer and the pickup trucks began to shimmy. And Trucker started along happy with the others and happy to share the road. The end. All right, so now we're gonna do a little counting exercise. I have little pieces of the train. So, clickety one, clickety one, here comes engine number one. Clickety two, clickety two, here comes cargo car number two. Clickety three, clickety three, here comes passenger car number three. Clickety four, clickety four, here comes coal car number four. Clickety five, clickety five, here comes oil tank number five. And last but not least, we have clickety six, clickety six, caboose number six. Well, let's see, what colors do we have today? We've got a black engine, a blue cargo car, 
a green passenger car, a yellow coal car, an orange oil car, and, of course, a red caboose. All right. Let's put those away so we can read our next story. And our next story is called Chugga Chugga Choo Choo. And it was written by Emma Garcia. Chugga Chugga Choo Choo. Here comes the train. Clickety clack on the track. Going to the seaside. We can taste the ice cream. You guys like ice cream? I know I do. Chugga chugga choo choo, here comes the train. Clickety clack, going on the track, going to the forest. We can hear the birds sing. Tweet, 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 tweet. Chugga chugga choo choo, here comes the train. Clickety clack, on the track, going to the city. Can you see all the tall buildings? Holy moly, those are tall. Chugga chugga choo choo, here comes the train. Clickety clack on the track, going to the farm. We can smell the farmyard. Let's see, I see some pigs. I bet they don't smell that good. Chugga chugga choo choo, here comes the train. Clickety clack on the track, going to the station for a nice long rest. But who is making all that noise? The birds, we have one seagull, two black birds, three pigeons, and four geese. Shoo, 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 fly away, birds. Night, night, train, see you tomorrow. You say good night, train? Good night, train. But it was a lot of work carrying all those birds. But trains are tough, they can do that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and sing a song. And you guys probably know the tune of this song. It's called The Wheels on the Train, and it sounds a lot like The Wheels on the Bus. Ready? The wheels on the train go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the train go round and round, all down the track. The engine on the train goes chug, 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 chug. The engine on the train goes chug, 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 all down the track. The whistle on the train goes toot, 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 toot. The whistle on the train goes toot, 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 all down the track. The passengers on the train go up and down, up and down, up and down. The passengers on the train go up and down, all down the track. Thanks for singing with me, guys. All right, I have one more story for you. And it is called, I Love Trains by Philemon Sturges. Trains, trains, trains. I love trains. I like trains that hoot and roar as they rumble by my door. First comes the engines, big and strong. Pulling lots of cars along. Some cars keep things from the rain and some cars carry trucks or grain or cows, or hogs, or gas, or logs. Some carry steel, and some carry scrap, or secret stuff that's under wrap. What do you think that could be? I think that looks like a rocket ship. But the best car is at the end as the train comes round the bend. What kind of car did we say that was? A caboose. I wave, I'm glad to see the car that carries my dad. Trains, trains, I love trains. Let's 
let's see, there's a bunch of different types of cars. There's the gondola cars that carry scrap and metal. There's the tanker cars that carry enough water for four big swimming pools. And there's the caboose, which is the place for the train's conductor to sleep. The end. All right, so that was my last story for today. So we're gonna go ahead and sing our closing song, If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Thanks for singing along with me today, guys, and for listening to all those stories. I'll see you next time.